Hey guys, this is Travis Elliott, and welcome to Yin Yoga for the Lower Back. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below, and also click on the link at the top of the comment section so that I can hook you up with three of my favorite classes. All right, with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our Yin practice. All right, let's start in the dangling forward fold, spreading the feet at least the width of the shoulders, maybe even a little bit wider so you feel stable. And then grab opposite elbows with your hands, put a frame around the head. And then just do a little light bounce up and down through the knees. Feel free to close the eyes. And as well, if you'd like to do a little gentle sway side to side, feel free and bend your knees as much as it feels right. In this practice, just focusing and giving an extra bit of attention and emphasis to that lower back area. A lot of times when the hamstrings are rigid and tight, this could pull on the vertebra of the lower, lower spine. So bending those knees as much as you need to, to alleviate excessive pressure so that it feels enjoyable for you. And then you might even want to gently nod the head up and down a little bit just to make sure that your neck muscles are released. Soften the hinge of your jaw. Relax all the muscles in the face. And just imagine any unnecessary noise and thoughts just rolling right through the crown of the head onto the floor below you as if you're emptying out the contents of your mind creating an environment within the mind where the mind can attune to the deeper inner guidance through that language of physical sensation. And allow the breath to move in and out through the nose in a way that feels good, that feels right for you. pulling each and every inhale all the way down into the lower back area, that area that we're here to take care of. Take a last several breaths here. Good, release the hands, the arms down towards the ground. Relax the knees all the way down onto the floor. And then from here, we'll slide into the child's pose. So bring the big toes together, allow the knees to open out wide, and then just allow your hips to melt all the way back towards your heels and your feet. Softening the elbows, the forearms, and the forehead all the way down onto the mat. You can always slide a block to go underneath the forehead here as well if you prefer. Child's pose is a great release for the lower back. You continue to breathe, continue to breathe into the lower back and also all the way down into the belly and into the hips. Imagining that your breath was a form of medicine and you're moving that medicine into that exposed area. Allow your body to yield to the natural forces of gravity. 
and then allow yourself to also yield to the innate intelligence that exists within that's always seeking to bring you back to balance, back to homeostasis. So we get out of the way of ourself, quieting down the mind, stilling the body, and just allowing that intelligence to fulfill its purpose of healing and restoration. Keeping the torso down low, go ahead and crawl your hands and your upper body over towards the right, coming into a side stretch variation of the child's pose. And if you like, you can lift the left hand up and place it on top of your right hand. So now you come into the stretch all the way down the left side body, even all the way down into the left waist and the QL muscle, the quadratus lumborum. Nice and easily, go ahead and crawl all the way over towards the left side of the mat. Again, if you'd like to lift the right hand up on top of the left hand. And now stretching across the whole right side body, the right ribs, the right lat, and all the way down into the right QL. making sure that we address that lower back area from all the various angles and perspectives to make sure that all that fascial matrix gets touched and gets exposed to that healing, healing energy. Good, now bring the body back down the middle, back down the center. Before we move on from here, just gently rock the forehead side to side. Should feel nice to massage the front of the brain. Switching off that overactive, analytical thinking brain. And accessing more of an intuitive feeling 
part of the mind and the brain. Good, from here, come up to tabletop pose, all fours position, stacking the shoulders right above those wrists, setting those knees right beneath the hips. And then cat and cow, inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart forward and out. And then on the exhale, round the back, curl the chest and the chin in. And then on your own, with your eyes closed, just feel free to move through a few more rounds of those. Lao Tzu of the, the great classic Tao Te Ching says, I have just three things to teach. Simplicity, patience, and compassion. These these three are your greatest treasure. And we feel that so much within this yin yoga practice. Simplicity of doing simple poses and movements. Patience within holding these shapes for longer extended periods of time. And compassion in the sense that this is really about self-care because we all know you can't give to others what you don't have to give. So this is our time to give back to ourselves. A Pali word for compassion is karuna. So let this 30 minutes or so be uh, an opportunity to bring that spirit of karuna to every pose, every shape, and every position. Come back to a neutral spine, crawl the knees forward about halfway up the mat, cross the feet behind you, and then release back onto those sit bones. Extend your left leg straight out in front of you, and then bring your right foot high up to your inner left leg, left thigh, setting up for the half butterfly pose. From here on the inhale, reach those arms all the way up above. And then on the exhale, just fold over and down to your own degree, nice and soft, so you're not forcing it, you're not pushing it. If you want, you can even grab a block and place that on the floor to go underneath the forehead. If you have a couple of blocks, you could use that or a bolster and a block. So feel free to use your props in a way that helps you to find your place, your position. And then with that patience and that compassion, allow the power of this simplistic practice of yin to work its magic.
here nice and easily begin to exit out of the shape. And then we'll come into a counter stretch, a backward bend by taking the right hand, placing it onto the floor behind you, turning the fingertips away from you. And then lean back onto that right hand, lift the hips up, take an inhale, reach the left arm all the way up and back. And on the exhale, slowly release everything down to the mat. Two more of those. Inhale, backward bend. And exhale, lower down again. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Good, bring that right knee back up to the sky. Extend the right leg out in front of you. Setting up for a half butterfly pose on the other side. So the left foot high up to that inner right leg, right thigh. And as you're ready, both arms come up on the inhale, create that length, create that height. And then on the exhale, just begin to fold over and down, half butterfly pose on the other side. Using this shape and this pose as a way to lengthen and gently stretch that hamstring so that we mitigate that unnecessary tension in the lower back. Some of you may be doing this practice because of pain in the lower back area. And it's always good to remember that when we do have pain in the body, that pain can be such a great teacher. And although there is a time and a place for pain killers, if we nullify that voice altogether, then we miss our opportunity of really learning what it is that the body's trying to communicate and speak to us, that there's some sort of imbalance, there's something wrong, it's a signal. And if we can listen and honor that voice, then we have the opportunity to learn, to grow, to understand in a deeper way, to make wiser choices. See if you can look at the pain as a positive thing. Let the pain be your teacher. Of course, although it can be very humbling and very challenging when we are moving through pain, I know for myself, times that I've been injured, I've learned so much, whether that's to slow down, or in many instances to bring greater compassion and kindness to how I work within my own body. And when we learn that for ourselves, we can bring that forth into our relationships as well. Out of this one. 
Setting up for the counter stretch, left hand comes onto the floor behind you, lean back onto that left hand. And then inhale, lift the belly up, reach that right arm all the way up and back. And then exhale, lower slowly back down to your yoga mat. Two more times, inhale to expand. Exhale to descend. Inhale to ascend. And then exhale, lower back down. Cross the feet in front of you. Roll over onto tabletop, all fours. Slide the knees back, modified plank pose. Take an inhale there. And then lower slowly all the way down, down onto your belly, onto your yoga mat. As we now set up for Sphinx Pose. Place the elbows underneath your shoulders. Forearms parallel to each other. Spread the feet out about the width of the hips. And once you get set up in the position, if it feels right, go ahead and close the eyes. You might even feel yourself deepening beyond just the sensation of your physical body. Becoming more and more aware of what we call the energetic body or in yoga, what's known as the pranamaya kosha. And our energy is that, that inner alchemy of electromagnetic energy, of life force, of prana, of chi. And right now we're moving that in a condensed way into that, that lower back again. So this is a, a gentle stress onto the lower back and the body responds to that gentle stress by creating tissue that's more resilient, laying down more collagen for strength and durability, and more elastin for suppleness and elasticity. So again, get out of the way of yourself and just allow that innate intelligence to do what it knows how to do. One last inhale there in Sphinx. Slowly lower the chest down as you spread out through those elbows. Slide the hands back by the ribs and the chest. Press up to modified plank. Crawl the knees forward to the top of your yoga mat. Cross the feet behind you. Release down onto the sit bones, and then go ahead and come all the way down onto your back. 
Hug both knees up to the belly. Cactus the arms with the palms up to the sky. And then let the knees twist gently over to the right. Reclining twist. You can feel that stretch, that glorious stretch down there in the lower back and all the fascia around the sacrum. Here, bring the knees all the way back up to neutral. And then as you're ready, same thing to the other side. Just let the knees drape all the way over to the left. Position your head and your neck wherever it feels right, whether that's keeping the face straight up or looking out over your right shoulder, or even turning the gaze the same direction as the knees can often feel really nice too. Both knees all the way back up to neutral. And then from here, we'll come into our last final resting position, corpse pose. If you have a bolster, slide that underneath the knees. You can always use a pillow or a rolled up towel as well as an alternative. Sometimes that helps to deal with the lower back pain and sensation by having those knees slightly bent. Feel free to use that prop there if it's helpful. And then just feel every muscle in the body softening and relaxing. You take these last couple of minutes to dissolve into stillness. As the Persian poet Rumi said, give up the drop and become the ocean. In other words, allow the small self to merge into the big self. Shavasana.
nice and easily start to bring the awareness back to the body bringing with you whatever it is that you just dropped into reach forward grab the shins hug the knees back to the belly and then gently rock and roll your way all the way up to a last final comfortable seat As you get up to see to bring the hands to prayer position in front of the chest, the heart. Sit up tall, slightly bow the forehead down as a gesture of gratitude. Gratitude to your body. Gratitude to your yin yoga practice for bringing you back to all the things that are important and meaningful to you. Much health, much wealth, much love. Namaste. All right, I hope you enjoy that yin yoga practice. Drop me a comment down below and let me know how it was. Also remember to hit that subscribe button. And lastly, if you really want to deepen your yoga practice, check out Inner Dimension TV, our monthly streaming platform where you can get access to all of my programs, series, and classes including my yin practices like flexibility and beyond and yin yoga sleep well. So go ahead and check out Inner Dimension TV, start your 10 day free trial, and I'll see you next time on the mat.